Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at the Brian Blaney 2020 Geico 500 Talladega Race Win 124 Scale ARC Diecast by Lionel Racing. Before we get to the diecast itself, let's take a look at the stat card it comes with. It is your usual 2020 stat card with no picture of the driver. We've got the race logo here and information about the race there, so feel free to pause it if you'd like to read that. There's the front. And then we got the back. So of course you got your stat card. You get your silver race win sticker. And then move the car out of the way. You get your standard for 2020 race win box featuring checkered flag decoration in the background of the NASCAR Cup Series logo, race version, and the win sticker down there. Got 2020 race winner, render of the car, standard finish, Lionel Racing brand, branding on the bottom. Of course, this end of the box features the NASCAR hologram and the year, along with more action branding. This, the back of the box features the uh, original 2020 race schedule. We know how that went. And then, of course, this end of the box features standard finish, cup series, logo, line action branding, and the production sticker that says Ryan Blaney, number 12, Menards, Talladega win, 2020 Mustang, one of 1,092. So that is the packaging. Go ahead and take a close look at the die cast itself. Starting off on the hood, we have True Wave Technology by Sylvania, natural light for natural living. Got a piece of red tape or something right there next to the hood pin. Pennzoil Ford. It does have some tie rubber and everything right here, but it's really hard to see. You can see the dirt though, hopefully, next to like the Pennzoil Ford logo. Got Ford Mustang at number 12. You can see a little bit of uh, stuff on the front bumper. If you look really down close down here on the front splitter even, you can see a little bit of carbon fiber weave. That's not the only bit of carbon fiber weave on this car that Lionel was able to do really nicely. For contingencies on the front, we have Lincoln Welder and Sunoco, which has some dirt on it. Got some brake uh, dust and everything on the wheels. All the race markings on the tires. Being ARC just has working steering. Of course, we have Goodyear above the front tires. NASCAR Cup Series on your contingency panel. Got NASCAR race car there on the roof post. Got a little bit of tire rubber and stuff on the door panel. Luckily, now we're on the fluorescent yellow, so you should be able to see that. Got the 12 Knuff Richmond all on the door. Ford uh, PPG Menards or Mazak discount tire and DXC all on the B post. Ryan Blaney up on the roof rail. Ford Cup Series on the windshield along with some window banners or tear off tabs. Got the window bracing. Looks really good there. Some tire rubber up on the roof line. You got Ford around the bubble cam. And if you look right on the uh, roof in this area, you can see the you know what would be the driver escape hatch it does have functioning roof flaps but they're pretty tight on there got advanced auto ports and decks imaging all on the C post Blaney on the rear window once again got all the bracing this is DIN number 463 back here on the deck lid we have Maytag, Kittle, Lemon, Jack Links, Cardell Cabinets, Mowen, Atlas, Sylvania, Duracell and Target Side of the car here features Menards and Sylvania, along with American Ethanol Fuel Buckeye. Once again, that rear tire detail and wheel detail is phenomenal. Once again, see if we can look at this uh, carbon fiber weave replication on the back on the spoiler. That Luxan top of the spoiler, where all the simulated carbon fiber is, is just really nicely done by Lionel on this one really impressed with the splitter and the rear spoiler work so we got that back here in the TV panel we have Shaw floors Menards got the some scrapes and scuffs from the bump drafting on the rear bumper along with the number 12 got the 2020 Ford license plate right side of the car we have some more tie rubber and a few scrapes of course the Goodyear is wore off on these tires from where he punted uh, Eric Jones out of the way to win. 
Got some simulated dents around the uh, rear wheel well there, and more tire rubber. Some right below Menards there. Got the simulated tab uh, to pull the rear uh, or the front uh, passenger side uh, window off if you're rescue worker or something there. You can see that right there. More scrapes and dings and dirt all on the side here. Bottom of the car is your standard plastic ARC chassis, if you're wanting to know. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, get the hood open, take a closer look at the engine detail. Be right back. Alright, back with the hood open. The tight fit of the Mustang hood requires the pause of the video, if you're wondering. Or it'd be here forever. But there is your engine detail. Basic plastic block, literally. Inside of the hood features Menards and powered by Ford, but that's about it. Overall, it's a solid car. I highly recommend picking this one up for your collection if you're a Ryan Blaney fan or you collect Menards race cars. This would go really well with the 2019 uh, October Talladega race win, which I have and have reviewed on the channel, so look for that as well. Uh, so yeah, it's a great car. If you can find it, pick it up either standard finish elite arc it doesn't matter it's a good car for your collection if you enjoyed this review get a thumbs up subscribe for more i post new diecast reviews throughout the week so be sure to click the bell for notifications you can find me on social media at jason a strain 69 basically on instagram is my primary social media source so see you there hope you enjoyed this one see you next time for an all-new diecast review bye